Law 30 u in this video we're going to solve for aggregate demand using the aggregate expenditures model. Okay, so a little bit different, very mathy, not particularly practical, but sometimes you're asked to do it. Okay, so I've got uh, a, a consumption function. In the consumption function, this is called autonomous spending. It means that it's spending that's going to happen regardless of whatever the income is. Uh, sometimes called a subsistence subsistence spending. Uh, I've got I that's uh, autonomous. It's independent from any interest rate type issues. I've got government spending here, and then I've got taxation. Now, uh, one thing to notice here is that government spending is higher than taxation. So you've got a, a government budget deficit. So we're either borrowing from the bond market or we're borrowing from future taxpayers. Okay. Uh, so this is a pretty simple one. And uh, so the formula is, or Y, and it could be could be set as aggregate expenditures, either one. Uh, we're just solving for Y, so it'd be C plus I plus G. Okay, so let's rewrite that up here using some of these numbers. So it's Y equals 160, because we're plugging in this function right here, plus 0.6. And then YD, I guess I should have written a formula for YD. YD is Y minus taxation. Okay, you could get a more complicated one where taxation depends on what uh, income is. Uh, if you do, you just plug it in algebraically. But in this model, that's this is what we're working with. Uh, so it would be uh, Y and then minus 100 because we're told that's the tax level. Okay. Again, this is a model. Uh, plus I, so 150, plus G, which is 150. Okay, we're going to start combining stuff. So this is 300. The, this is 160. So let's go Y equals 460 plus uh, 0.4, or sorry, 0.6 rather, sorry, 0.6 Y. And then minus 0.6 times 60. Okay, so those will combine to 400. And I'm going to subtract 0.6 from both sides. So I got 0.4y. Now I'm going to divide, I divide 0.4 by both sides. So those will go away. Y is in this case, I just want to make sure I get it right don't make a mistake with the cameras rolling that's 1000 and so this would be 1000 1000 is the aggregate expenditure in this economy it is also the total income because spending equals income one person's income is another person's uh, comes from another person's spending or vice versa one person's spending creates somebody else's income so that's how to solve for uh, income, they might call it aggregate expenditure. They might call it uh, spending, aggregate spending uh, in an economy.